So, Generals B2, back at you, and I got a really fun game for you. We're going to go Battleground USA. Let's go. So, look, uh, Jake and Ham and I, <laughs> if you don't know, I love playing games with these guys. Uh, very, very good players. We don't even have to coordinate anything. Like, it just, what needs to happen, happens every single time, right? So, so I can tell you this. Um, we are playing, um, and you're going to laugh, but... We're gonna play. We're gonna role play this game as Republicans now, not to aggravate people and troll or whatever, but just because we wanted to throw a little bit higher of a challenge in. So, so you can see that we are going to um, now. I know Georgia is one of those swing states, and you can kind of count a Republican, you can kind of not. Like I get it, they they voted Democrat this election, uh, but our rule is we won't attack another red state, meaning like the mid the entire Midwest basically. Um, we would only attack AI Republican red states, um, and we're going to go and take the Capitol as one of our first moves, right? So we're going to control DC. Um, we're going to role play the game out as if we were going after the blue states. Uh, so it should be pretty exciting. But but similar start to everything. Um, it's going to be a little bit differently. I am going to go air um, air on this one majority because I only have one port in Savannah. So I only have one port of entry, basically. Uh, and Florida is going to go naval, so Florida will cover me. Uh, Jake is just a you know he's just a really good player on there. So the first first action is an AI state here. Uh, I'm going to group my uh, my troops here on the state. I'm going to swing through, pick up these VPs. I'm going to stack in Columbia because I'm probably going to have to fight North Carolina soon. Um, and then because I'm a little insulated, North Carolina would have to come through Asheville and come down after me here to my capital. I'm taking a little bit of a risk by going up and grabbing Nashville because it's a component state. Because I'm going to be doing Air Force, I'm going to need that extra. I'm also stacking my unit. Um, I'm bringing in here uh, out of Valdosta to Montgomery because it's a supplies area. And I'm going to need those supplies, right? So I'm also going to swing out a unit to go take these over here as extra VP so I can put a local industry out there. So uh, Jake had to do the um, some sort of tutorial, which put him at war with Nassau. And so he's got to come down here and handle all these places down here. But because they have a port, he's going to be able to land and, and knock that out. So that's his plan. Um, and then Ham, you just... You just never know what Ham's going to do. He's probably going to go take Jackson. Um, he's stacking up to, to move that way now here. Um, and then I would imagine he's going to come up through here and go Little Rock and then swing back down to, to see what's going on. Uh, he's going to make friends with Texas because Texas is a historically uh, Republican state as well. So he is going to uh, probably try to make friends there and not go after them, I would imagine. California, I'm going to put you on notice right now. We coming for you. You blue state you. So um, so that's going to be our, our role on here. Now, I know that uh, Jake is going to go naval. Um, Ham does a mix of everything. Um, he'll probably do a little defense down here, but I'd expect him to go full stacks, um, like with armored vehicles and infantry uh, with some port stuff behind him. So just kind of the way he plays. Uh, I'm going to go full air on this one, too, because I really want to. Here's what's happened. Like, I've played this game since 2016. I've, uh, you know, I've got a pretty good handle on the mechanics. I'm not the smartest tactician player. I'm not the most active player. I, I just end up having good five-man crews, which helps me out tremendously. Um, so uh, I'm going to try and learn a new aspect. I'm going to try and go more air support on this one, um, only because I'm playing two 1X games, and it gives me the ability to actually um, um, react to stuff. And because it's um, with planes, it's going to be a little bit easier to get around the map and lend support to everybody. So I'm going to research strikes. I'm going to research air support here. Um, and then you know, the air superiority uh, to get in there. Now I did the same thing too. I spent money to get up there. Just like in the previous games that I've played, you guys know my strategies to come in. It's to buy materials, which I did, and to buy the first round of, of um, rares, which I did. Uh, because I just need to have like some basic stuff going in order to start controlling the map, right? So most people are going to go infantry. I'm going to go strikes, and then I don't have a fear of having anybody that has um, um, SAMs or anything that's going to be anti-air, right? So uh, even with that, if I had three or four planes going in, they're, they're just not going to be able to build a level three army base uh, really fast. And if so, I can just go right to that city and destroy it. Um, that way, you know, costing them repair stuff to go back in and try to fight the plane. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but anyway, I wanted to uh, to get a good start on here. Um, I also, just to show you what I'm building, I did the same thing, but because the resources are a little bit different on this, I couldn't go all in on um, 
I just couldn't go all in on it, right? So um, I do want to build alternative airports, which is going to give me more supplies as well. And so I probably will come in here and start um, a second airport so I can start doing two planes at once, right? So, uh, so anyway, uh, that's kind of the way it goes. The rest I'll be doing uh, arms industries in here and then getting those up to five as soon as possible as well as putting local industries in there. Um, I won't build past a one, but I do need a certain level of, of infantry. And so therefore I also, uh, I'm gonna make them a little bit higher uh, punch power by adding a seasoned vet in there and raising him up. They're super inexpensive to go and build these actually. So like you see even the next level, it doesn't take much to raise this infantry officer, but what they give you is huge, right? Um, it has a radar on them. It can conquer territory. It can automatically board planes. So if you need to have, um, shift this officer around, you can split them and move them. Um, it storms the positions, so it ignores hostile entrenchments, which means um, your bunkers that it's going to pass through. It also gives a 20% attack, a 20% defense, and a 15% speed which means you can get those units around the map to cover, uh, but you can only have one. Now, when you get up into the higher levels, so let's take a look at this guy. If I was to build him, he's going to have a 7 attack and a 9.3 defense, so right away it's going to give your stack a little bit of a boost. If you're fighting in a city, it's going to give you attack modifier of 25%. Well, I'm sorry, open ground. In the city right here, uh, suburban, it's going to give you another 25% defense in both these, which is kind of nice. Uh, so if he gets hurt, you can put him back on your capital and have a pretty good defense, right? So if you look at him at the higher level, though he was a 7 and a 9.3, it goes to a 12 and a 16. More importantly, look at the attack numbers on, on armor, and it has a little bit of an anti-air component, which is kind of nice. It doesn't defend missiles, um, and it doesn't really wreck population when you use them to take cities and, and buildings, which is great, right? So, uh, But the more you get him up there, you kind of get these little bonuses. Uh, he has 70 hit points, which is huge when you add that into a stack. Um, it's like having a, um, a tank in your stack, basically. 50, 55 hit points on a tank, 70 on your officer. Uh, I think it's one of the critical pieces of this game that, that people don't raise up. Now, again, you have to be high level to have this unit right here, right? So um, uh, it doesn't tell me on here. Uh... Yeah, I because I'm high enough level to get them all, it doesn't tell me. But right here, see, I would need rank 87 to get this, right? Or I would need rank 95 to get a, a, a submarine admiral. But on this one, we, we've met the requirement of the... Um, uh, of the commanding officer so it's a good unit to have trust me like uh, you know you see a lot of the good players will have these in there they really do make a huge difference to you so so just go ahead and, and, and trust me on there as far as coalitions this game is not shaping up to be too much of a barn burner because there's only two coalitions in here but we'll see uh, if I go in let me see you can tell by looking at the, here in the archive and scrolling down and seeing that we're the top three players in the game and there's a bunch of new people. So, yeah, I mean, GG on this game already. I think we're going to be able to handle that, right? Uh, good stuff. But, you know, because we are going to do the role play element, I think that that's going to be a little bit more challenging than we think on there. I'm trying to see it. But, yeah, so a lot of these guys. See, this is this is the unknown factor. A lot of new players play this Battleground USA. And uh, they're just so unpredictable in the way they play. Uh, many of them do go AFK, though, which is the, probably the only saving grace for us with not being able to attack the red states and everything. So anyway, uh, Battlegrounds USA, let's go.